and welcome to our first gameplay video of 2019. I'm Sean Norberg, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Ashley. And what we're going to be doing for you guys is opening up a booster box and doing a Sandlot type style draft. So the way that's going to work is we are going to take out from this 24 booster pack box, we are going to take out a few packs, we are going to take turns, we're going to take turns ripping them, and we're going to fill out an entire roster. The only twist with this is, is we're not going to do a normal 25 man roster, we're going to shorten it up to a 20 man roster. And we're going, instead of a normal 5 man rotation, we're going to go with 3 starting pitchers, 5 in the bullpen, and we're going to have 2 bench players, and, and another slot that's available either for a bench player or another bullpen guy. Personally, I think I'm going to go with another bench player because I always like to find either someone quick on my bench to pitch run or a good pitch hitter. And I like to either have another infielder to fill a spot in the field after or an outfielder. But the biggest thing is if you have a, a catcher that's probably slow, you might want a pitch runner for them and then you might want to put another catcher in to play defense for them after. So you might want to carry an extra catcher on your team as well. I'm going to see how the cards unfold. Okay. So what we have in front of us here is I have all these sleeves laid out and on the sleeves it has all the positions labeled all the way from catcher down to DH down here. We have our bench spots. I already have three bench there. I know I'm going with the bench players. Five relievers and I have like three starting pitchers laid out here. And with our booster box that we're going to open for you, it also comes with a gold pack that is a guaranteed hit in it. And the newest thing this year with the cards is, if you look on the side of the booster box, it says collect all new shadow variants and spectrum super variants. Now this is my demo wall back here. We printed up some demos before we released the game this year. So this is what the spectrums look like. It's a nice colorful rainbow for us back there. And what it is, is every single rare player this year comes with one spectrum card, a nice colorful spectrum card. And that is in one of every 60 packs. That's the ratio, one of every 60 packs. And they also come with shadow cards, so hopefully we'll open some shadow cards today. Those are only one in every six packs, and those are some sleek black and gray cards that are alternates to the normal foil cards. So we're going to open this up. We're going to start with the guaranteed pack right here. I'm going to give you the honors of doing that. So you're going to rip that. Um, you're going to pick some players from this uh, to start your team off, and then we're going to get going with the booster box. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so Ashley, you're going to open up that booster box for you with uh, my lovely Yankee steak knife I have there. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this in there, nice like a little store display. There she oh, is. Oh, you found it right away. She's found the gold pack. Tucked right in the back there. So how about you pop that one open for us first? Let's see what we have to start. Josh Hader, mm. right off the bat, and there it is, a Shadow Michael Conforto. So Ashley, I'm going to give you first pick on this one. Which one are you going with for your team? Obviously picking the Shadow. Oh, you're going with the Shadow, okay. Now, remind you, the Shadow does not make the cards any more special. There's no bonus power with them. It's strictly for baseball card playability. So why don't you take a close look at the players there. I'm going to suggest that first before we jump to the Shadows. We well, got I'm not picking Hader. Josh Hader. Okay, so you're not a hater fan. Not a hater fan. So Sorry. I guess we know how that I'm goes. I'm a hater of hater. <laughs> so bring it over here. I'm gonna take Josh Hader. Call me okay. ruthless over here. So we're gonna each you take one no from soul. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. So Josh Hader going on my team. Michael Conforto right over to yours. Okay, so we each have our first pick in. You had the honors the first time. So I'm gonna go with our next pack right here. First pack out of the box. Jason Kipnis. Strategy card. Robbie Ray. Now strategy cards we can just ignore for now. We're gonna we're gonna make our own decks after. There it is, the rare Max Muncy, and I got a rare strategy card. So we're just going to pull these to the side for now. We're going to make our own strategy decks that probably fit the cards a little better. So let's see who we have here. Brandon Belt, not bad. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take turns going back and forth picking from this. Okay. 
you got to think strategically. You may want to go for a player like Max Muncy, a rare player right off the bat, but then you got to think position-wise. Is, is it possible that I might find someone better at that position I might want to later and might not have the choice of swapping? Because once you take a player, you've taken them. So just a few things to think about. Uh, looking here, Brazier in the bullpen isn't that bad. So that power with Max Muncy, power numbers have been down the last few years in comparison dating back to 2017. So Muncy is a very powerful card this year. Oh, with that speed and power, I think I'm going to have to. I'm doing it with Muncie. Okay. Okay, let's just move. We'll plug him in at third for now. I'm going to start off with someone in the bullpen. Now, we're only going with three starting pitchers, so that's something to think about. Uh, a Clevenger would be a nice pickup here, but it's only a three-man rotation we're going with, so... I might let him ride for a bit, but you know, we got to finish out this pack, so I am going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Clevenger. Okay. Now, Gordon, might you might see Gordon a lot this year. He's really valuable for his defense, and you know, he's only got 125 salary, but right now it's no, no limits, so picking up my first starter. I'm going to go ahead with Bell. Nice choice. That was probably what I was going to go with next. A good choice. Um, Chris Martin, he's got that Rady plus one handedness. It's pretty good. But I'm, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a one through three mistake pitch person. I, I like little mistake pitches. So Robbie Ray, he's only got two. Mm. And he's a lefty bus too. Another guy you're going to see here a lot with that handedness bonus. You might see a lot of people platoon him this year coming off the bench. Correa. We got some bigger names in this one. Brian Anderson and Justin Verlander. Hmm. Shane Green off to an incredible start I'm in 2019. Start off with Verlander. Oh, we can't sell him on Green. Hmm. Okay, Verlander off the board. The rare gone right away. I see a little Carlos Correa out there, but uh, we took Paul Paul Dijon last uh, round, so. Um. I mean, hey, I already said Gordon might shift to the bench, so bring on Andrew Benatendi. Brian Anderson, we might see a lot this year in Miami with that stadium. I'm going to go with Anderson just because he's more flexible of moving around. Mm, okay. So I'm going to start him in my outfield, and if I need to move him, then I have that option. Well, you know we're fortifying our bullpen with our... Uh... Or weak starting pitching. <laughs> I wouldn't say weak so far, but you got Verlander over there, so. Mm. Kirby Yates, bring on over. Okay. Command five, ready plus two. San Diego killing it this year. So right now, you have the choice of either picking him and having two first basemen on your bench, which would kind of ruin the theme of things. It would kind of make it a little dicey. So we're going to have enough room in our next pack. So what we're going to do is we are going to, well, it would be unfair for me to discard it because I still have a starting pitcher slot remaining. So what we're going to do is we are going to throw Duffy on my team. That's only fair right now because that slot is still empty on mine. So that's going to finish off my starters. And we're just going to get rid of Bowers because I don't want to stick you too much with, you know, extra people with the same positions on the bench. I don't think that would be for good gameplay. So we're just going to get right to our next pack right now. And you with that Verlander pick last one. 
Hmm. I need something big here to step my team up. Our starting pitching could be uh could be better. We got Escobar, Hernandez, Seeger alert, Edwin, Dyson, Cahill, Tanaki. Could have used him last round. Hmm. Watson, Abreu, Price, and Wade Davis. Okay, so first pick for me going. Uh, we got a shortstop in the lineup. We got a shortstop on the bench. But I am really tempted for Seager, obviously. Very tempted for Seager. And Enciarte, though, we got no center fielder. That gold glove, that speed A. But do we throw another reliever in? Wade Davis, very, very tempting, 18 outs. But I think right now, with the lack of speed in this draft, I think we are going to have to go with Enciarte in center field. We still need a center fielder, so come on over. I'm going to go with pitching this game. Yeah. So the lack of the lack of catchers is scary so far. So we're just gonna have to rip packs after until we get catchers. Um, I could go with Seager, but that would stick me with two shortstops on the bench. So probably not logical to do that. Um, first base still open, so we are going to take Edwin. So your starter's already filled out, right? Mm-hmm. Your starter's already filled out. So we're gonna take Tanaka and Price out of the picture here. Since we're gonna, they're burned, we've already picked our starters, and Cahill. I'm gonna remove them from here. Um, shortstop, that's not happening for me. Relievers, I still have one left. How many relievers do you have left? I still have two. Two. Okay, I still have one reliever left. So, first base. What do we think about a Braves silver slugger icon? Only five outs on that chart. Not bad. I have Hater in the bullpen and two righties, so I'm going to go with a lefty and Tony Watson for the pen. So that finishes off my bullpen. Okay. Got the hold icon, I'll take that. So my bullpen, all filled up. I think I'm going to go with Seager in my DH. For DH? I mean, you could also swap him. Who's your other shortstop? Correa? Correa. Correa is a plus two with Seager is a... Plus four. Plus four. Yeah, so that's you, probably my best yeah, So at this point, you could swap Seager into short. Correa goes into DH. Okay, so that's on me now. Back to me, and I gotta go with Abreu because I already have my outfield filled. Oh, I do have my bench filled, so I could I could fill Hernandez on the bench, but he isn't going to help my team. So we are going to go with Abreu. Throw him at first, and that leaves you. You can. Uh, it's between either of them because you still have a bullpen slot and you still have bench slots. So Dyson can go on your pen, or Hernandez can go on your bench. I'm going to go for the relief. Okay, Dyson. You're going to see a lot of Dyson with his low salary this year in teams. And that leaves Hernandez. I guess I'm going to have to take Hernandez because I have an outfield and a shortstop slot, so it doesn't look like I'm getting a backup catcher today. So Hernandez coming on over. Fills me out, and I just need a second baseman and a catcher. Okay. We are both desperately looking for a catcher. Okay, this should be our final pack coming up, unless there's, unless we need to keep ripping for catchers, it looks like. So you have a center fielder and a catcher left, and two bench. And you have relievers left? One. You still have one reliever left. I was filling my lineup quicker. You also are one card up from me, so. Yeah. Get Morgan, team. Mankata has been killing the Yankees this weekend. Man, where are the catchers at? Where are all the catchers at? Brandon Belt, make another appearance. Not too many repeat There's cards. One. There, Salve, who's getting them? And oh, another Josh Hader. Another Hader. Oh, man. Okay, I'm up first. I'm going to have to go with the catcher. Okay, well, that sticks me with every catcher we pull from the next pack. I guess we'll keep ripping packs after. We are a catcher away. So you got a center fielder. So your options for center field right now are Martin. Hmm. And that's it. So Martin and you have two bench players still available. I'm gonna go I'm gonna fill out my relief pitchers first. Now the real question is, is any of your left fielders or right fielders listed as outfield? Just double checking. 
Yes, I have. Um, you have Conforto. Conforto. So theoretically, you could move Conforto to center over, yes. field if you do want to take a different left fielder or right fielder and put him out there. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, the only outfielder in this pack at all is Martin, so you're going to have to take him. Okay, back up to me. Can I take Hader again? <laughs> so my team is already filled out. All I need is a catcher, so you took a reliever, and you need a center fielder, so we're just going to let you fill it out with... Uh, either, I mean, like I said, you can move Conforto over there. You're gonna have to take Martin. He's either gonna have, you're gonna, you know, swap either one of those in. So you're gonna have to take him right now. It's your turn to pick. I know. I don't have any slots left except my catcher. So we're just gonna have to rip another pack after. Okay. It's okay. I'm sure the, I'm sure the fans back home watching won't mind another pack rip. So that's it. You have two bench slots to fill up. So you have a first baseman on your bench. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be nice to get an outfielder out there or a catcher. It does not look like that's happening. So let's let's burn all these cards. Let's discard them all. And for the fun of it, let's rip another pack. Rip one more coming at you. Come on, baby. Give me a spectrum. Let's throw some color into our life. Okay, Domingo Santana. Picked him up on my fantasy team last week and cooled off since I picked him up. Speed A alert to Shield. Speed A alert. And there it is, LaCroix. So we will have filled out teams mm. by the end of this pack. Okay. Michael Gibbons. Bregman. Patrick Corbin. And Merrifield as our rare card. Oh. We've got to pick the catcher. Well... You know, that means LaCroix come on over. My team is filled out. And you still have two slots. And Merrifield's Merrifield, going uh, to go ahead and... You got Kipnis at second, so switch him out. Move Kipnis to your bench. We all know what's coming. Yep. Kipnis to your bench. Merrifield in the slot. That leaves you with any pick. Man, you ended up with the right draft here. You're up. I mean, my team's filled out, so that's it for my team. And you still have one spot, so you can pick anyone. Bench spot. You, you can pick any player to either sub in for a starter or just to move to the bench. We're gonna go ahead with Bregman. Well, who is your? I mean, Bregman's third and short, so you got Seager at short. Who do you got at third? Escobar. You got Escobar at third, so you're gonna switch Bregman in for Escobar. Escobar to the bench. That's probably the mm -hmm. most logical. I mean, there also is a speed A to Shields out here too, if you want one. But I mean, Bregman. I also like his defense. Yeah, I mean, is that? I mean, at that point, is that? Do you but consider I've starting plus, him? I've already got a plus five. The thing now. is, do you consider starting to shields over Martin? Martin, because he's, you know, Martin's not. Yeah, his defense isn't as great. Yeah, so you might want to move him to the bench, and then to shields out to center. So Bregman going undrafted then. I doubt that will happen in 2020. This is going to be a big year for him. And that is it. And it is decided. Well, that is it, Ashley. Our 20-man teams are built. That is it. We will play a five-game series against each other to determine the first uh, mini-champion of 2019. And we will come back with a few more videos this year, ripping the rest of this box. Hopefully, we'll find a few more cool shadow cards and spectrum cards. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Clutch Cards. Remember, on here... The shadows are one in every six packs, and the spectrums are in one of every 60 packs. So I'm pretty happy with my team. How do you feel about yours? I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I'm a little worried about my starting pitching here of uh, Clevenger, Luke Weaver, and Dean Duffy. I had two, three commands in there I kind of got stuck with early on. But throw a heater in the bullpen, one sees power. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Game on. Okay. I'm Sean Norberg, and this has been Bottom of the Clutch.